Hey everybody, Pastor Caleb here. Hope you're doing well today. Wanted to do a quick video on Johnny Hunt. He has been reinstated to do ministry um, after about six, seven months ago. Uh, a report came out that the Southern Baptist Convention did. There was a report that came out on sexual abuse and his name was mentioned in abusing another pastor's wife in a in like a condo area I guess on vacation um, you can go and read that report I will go and put that link in the description of this video it was very sad and just heartbreaking to see a pastor once again fall for moral failure uh, we've seen numerous pastors over the past few years that have fallen for moral failure and in this video I just kind of wanted to just share some thoughts on this. So there were four pastors that basically came alongside Johnny Hunt uh, to hold him accountable and I guess start this restoration process. Uh, those four pastors are Mark Hoover, Mike Whitson, Stephen Kyle, and Benny Tate. And they have made a video uh, that basically walked through, I guess, them coming alongside Johnny Hunt and going through this process with him. I'll put that link of that video in the description as well. However, what I want to talk about just real quick is just the, I guess, quickness of this. Uh, it seems very quick to me that he's been engaged in this sexual misconduct, remo basically removed from positions within the Southern Baptist Convention and then Southeastern Seminary uh, was thinking about removing his name from a chair there at at the seminary uh, and it, I personally find it rather quick that he's been reinstated it seems like this would be a process that would take some time there's a lot of grief that happens when abuse happens and I don't want to minimize those that have been affected by sexual abuse that there's no place for that and heaven forbid that that would happen again and I know unfortunately living in a fallen world that will happen again but there's there's always hope there's always restoration that can take place and what I saw in this video was four of his friends that have come alongside him and basically giving him a clean bill of health to go and do ministry again. Now that's not saying that ministry can never happen again. I know for me personally, if, if I was to have some type of moral failure, I would want guys and buddies to come alongside me that can speak truth into me, give me a quick kick in the butt, and basically encourage me, hold me accountable. Uh, but I know that would be a long process. It wouldn't be a six month process. And I think what has got this extremely kind of ramped up is that Johnny Hunt is going to be speaking at a conference with some other individuals uh, at a conference. And I'll, I'll show that link here in the video. And when you put a conference together that's months in the making of planning and preparation and, and lining up speakers and whatnot and that would have taken place before this process concluded the video of of these four individuals was put out like just a few days ago in planning a conference like a, a that would take months in advance to plan this out. So I find it very intriguing that Johnny Hunt's name would be as a listed speaker on this conference when he may or may not have been completely cleared from these four individuals. And that's a whole other story of, of are these guys qualified to officially deem him clear for ministry and I recently saw an article that the current uh, president of the Southern Baptist Convention, Bart Barber, uh, released a statement basically saying that you know the these four individuals don't speak for the executive committee or the Southern Baptist Convention. So I just wanted to kind of bring that to light that you know this is very 
quick, very odd that he has already been reinstated to do ministry and to see an individual that's committed sexual abuse so quickly be reinstated to do ministry and to have power and authority is very, I feel like that's poor wisdom. Um, and in that video, the abuse survivors were not mentioned. Is there any counseling that has happened with them? Um, has there been an official reconciliation with that abuse survivor and Johnny Hunt? Has there been conversations? You know, and I saw that Johnny Hunt did have a renewal of his vows with his wife. And that's, you know, that's great. I'm glad that they have been able to reconcile as a family. But is there things that have happened with the abuse survivor? Has there been true reconciliation? You know, and I'm trying to be very careful with my words here as, you know, I don't know his heart. You know, he could have officially repented. You know, that's between him and the Lord and these individuals that have come alongside him. But from an outside perspective, it feels very quick that he would already be back doing conferences, which would have been planned months in advance. To It, it just seems like poor judgment to me. I would love to hear your comments, your thoughts on this. You know, I have a video on, on, on my YouTube channel of Johnny Hunt preaching at a church that I was on staff at and this was before any of these accusations and you know things came out and just to share kind of it was very an odd interaction uh, I was tasked as the associate pastor to go pick him up from the airport and it was just a very weird dynamic uh, and it just solidified in my mind that there's no place for celebrity pastors. Um, I picked him up from the airport and was I was super excited, you know, to pick him up, you know, to have a great conversation with a seasoned pastor and and he literally sat in the back of my car. He did not uh, want to sit up front with me and engage in conversation. He, it was very weird, um, and he was basically like, all right. I got to figure out what sermon I'm going to preach tonight. And in my mind, I'm thinking, what do you mean? You haven't picked out a sermon that you are going to preach. You haven't worked through the text. You haven't prayed about it. You haven't, you know, let the text master you and exegete, you know, some points and let the text speak. And what he did was he pulled out his iPad and just started looking through it. He's like, all right, I haven't preached this one in a while. I'm going to pick that one. And that's what we're going to do tonight. And in my mind, I'm like, oh my goodness, you're just now like an hour before this service, you are going to pick your text and sermon and go with that. You haven't prayed over it. You haven't, you know, been working through that text. It blew my mind. And the fact that he sat in the back of the car and didn't really want to engage was very eye-opening to me. It sounded like, it felt like he was an elitist, that it was just, it was very awkward and very weird. I was expecting, you know, to hear conversation and stories of, you know, being in ministry for, you know, 30, 40 plus years. But anyways, this video is about this, kind of this bombshell that he's been reinstated in doing a conference. Um, so my prayer is that one, there is true repentance, that there's been reconciliation between him and the abuse survivor. Uh, and, you know, the, there's always hope. We see that throughout scripture. There's always hope. Jesus does save. He does, you know, reconcile. And, and you know, we come to him as lost, broken people, desperate in need of a savior. I need that. Johnny Hunt needs that. You need that. Um, so the prayer is that there's reconciliation between him and the Lord, that he's repented. And I would love to hear your comments on if this was wise for him to go ahead and jump back into ministry and to be at this conference. So make sure you've hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the, the bell notification for updates on the channel. Be sure to drop a comment. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on Johnny Hunt being back in ministry. Thank you and have a wonderful day.